This is Vinny TV, a wine show packed with broken English and hairy South African men and passion for wine. And I am with Adi Badenhof from it's South It's certainly broken English, man. <laughs> So, why don't you tell us who you are and what you do and where? I make a bit of wine in South Africa. Um, that's the, you know, South Africa, it's at the bottom of Africa, that small little country there. Um, an area called the Swartlands, that's, uh, which is a big appellation. Uh, my name is Adi. Uh, we make a uh, few dodgy wines, um, like, like this. This is our label, which is the coolest label in the Southern Hemisphere, um, even though our town is the ugliest town in the world. Um, what town is that? Uh, Marmonsbury. Yeah, Marmonsbury. Marmonsbury. It's, a, it's a terrible looking place. You know, it's not a it's not a gastronomic hub of any choice, of any standard. The, the most sophisticated restaurant there is a KFC. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And uh, so, so, what's the history between? Uh, I mean, with you and wine. With, with me and wine. Yeah, yeah. I've become slowly dependent on wine um, from an early age. Uh, my father was involved in the wine business. Is involved in it. My grandfather. Um, and we've just bought a piece of land out in the Swatland, in the, in the Padabach, and that's an amazing place. So what kind of wines do you produce? <sighs> we just do blends, so we do blends of everything. We do field blends, we blend in the cellar, and it's mostly, uh, we work with 12 different white varietals, which we just put into one bottle. Yeah. We're making sherry-style wines, which are pretty cool and interesting, because people hate sherry generally, and we're going to make it very really sexy. I fucking love sherry. <laughs> um, but you're a geek. Uh, you just remember that. Um, and then we do red blends as well, mostly with Shiraz and Grenache and Mavad and all those wonderful grapes that have got texture and, um, and subtle tannins and that have got right, right. refreshing qualities. So, I mean, in the past few years, Swartland obviously have gained a sort of status, especially among wine geeks. What the, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing there? I mean, like, what's, what's happening in Swartland? Like, what, what's, what's special about Swartland? I don't know. What's special about Swartland is, yeah. is, is the people that are there, of course. I mean, uh, there's a combination. There's like young young guys like Mr. Yeah, and I still qualify as young. I might look like Father Christmas, but I still qualify as young. Uh, young guys coming out to the Swartland and discovering old vineyards that were either just abandoned or ended up going to big corporates, big tanks, nameless tanks, and uh, paying attention to these vineyards and these grapes. And the great thing about the Swartland is a lot of old bush vines. Um, and they're guys that are making wine uh, with passion and with very little equipment. Huh? We, uh, we are owner winemakers, so there's no knowledge lost in the translation between uh, owner and a winemaker. There's a, there's a strong line of philosophy from the owner into the, in, into the mines, into the bottles. So, I mean, in I, Finland we, we see South Africa as a... I mean, we get these huge back-in-box wines, pearly base and, and, and that stuff. I mean, what would be your message about South African wines to the Finnish people that don't really know about it? Uh, in, in, in Finnish? I don't speak Finnish. No, 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 just in English. Okay, I, I, I can't speak in English. Um, but look, I mean, South Africa is a, it, it, it's a beautiful society. It's a, one of the most complex societies in the world. We've been shaped by crazy political ideals of the last uh, couple of centuries. But the people in South Africa have got a lot of drive and they're very passionate and they're creative. If you see what's coming out of South Africa in terms of art and design and fashion, um, Films, it's crazy, and that and that's that's happening in the wine industry as well. The guys are respecting the past and not following trends that's happening all over the world. We're making our cutting our own way, I think. Yeah. Uh, next month, there's a, a certain event takes place in in Swartland. What did you tell about that? Yeah, it's called the Swartland Revolution, uh, and um, the Swartland. You know, we we a couple of producers, four or five guys, four guys getting together, and we we showcasing the Swartland. Yeah. We are. We are getting 250 people to come to this event. Fantastic tutor tastings. Um, we had a couple of foreign wines as well. There's, there's a place called Kornas. I don't know if you've heard of Kornas. Uh, you know, a little village down in the south. Uh, makes one of the most wonderful wines. Uh, the guy called the Luvia Club is coming with his wines. He's going to showcase those. And uh, then we're going to look at our own wines the next day on Saturday morning. We're going to have a look at wines from Chris Molyneux. He's a great, great winemaker, great producer. And we're going to have a look at his wines. And, then there are a couple of panels of so-called ex ex experts, they bring their wines, we're going to taste them. But mostly it's just to celebrate the Swartland and uh, see that we, even though we're quite laid back and chilled, we can sort of organize a, um, a weekend uh, that's got punch and that showcases the area. Good. What's your message about wine to, to the <laughs> Finnish people? Oh, about life, about anything, whatever. About life. Open I, mic. Yeah, about life. I mean, I just think you... You guys, just try and try and do a lot more fishing with your children. If you've got children, try and do a lot more fishing with them. Uh, especially boys. Boys love catching fish. And um, daughters, if you've got daughters, you know, 
you just got to lick your children. It was like one day they're going to be too big, and that, that's my message about wine. Good. I think we're ready to taste your wines, and let's go drink them. Cheers. Good.